So as you know, I'm kind of into hardware. I love software. It makes life very convenient. It's much more manageable and you can do a lot of work in a tiny little laptop and just get it all done there. But for some reason, I feel compelled to fill my world with lots of physical hardware. And there definitely are elements to that that bring ideas out of me that I wouldn't get through software. So part of this quest, as I'm working on new music, including New Circle of Dust and New Scandroid, as well as Cell Dweller, but mainly those other two because they're more in the kind of a retro space sonically, I've been looking at some old drum machines, some of which I used to own. They've died, and then I've resurrected. So I've already bought a Circuit Bend HR16, an Alesis HR16, which I've used. Um, and more recently, I just got a Kawai R100, which is, this is from the 80s. This thing is a beast. It's big. And it actually only has 24 sounds in it, which is not a lot. But what I did is I bought this fancy little expansion, a ROM expansion, that I'm going to try to install this weekend. And wish me luck, because I am a terrible engineer. I should never really attempt to do anything like this, but I'm so compelled to hear what this sounds like, I'm going to try to put this in the box. And then I'm going to have this really awesome drum machine that I'm going to be doing all kinds of cool stuff with. Now, as I started heading down this path of thinking about old drum machines and old gear I used to use that have broken and basically went by the wayside, I gave it away, I threw it away, which I never should have done. I started thinking about this little drum box I used to own called the Boss DR550. And so I started looking around eBay and I actually found a Mark II, which has probably some minor, some minor benefits over the, the standard version 1, the Mark I. And I found it for like 45 bucks and I'm like, I'm buying this thing. Even though I have all the samples already mapped in battery, in the box, I don't, I don't really need this, but I needed it, if you know what I mean. So part of my experiment when I set this thing up was actually not only just getting sounds out of it and creating patterns and refamiliarizing myself with the interface and how to program patterns, but I was like, I want to start running this through some of the gear I have now. So what I did is I hooked up this little DR550 into this tiny rack of modular stuff that I've actually set up over here now. So although I can create patterns in the box and just chain them together, I didn't want to do all that work. I wanted to actually slave everything to my DAW tempo, which is Cubase. So what I actually did is I hooked up this DR550 via MIDI, and that maps all of the sounds across a keyboard, and then I actually just created a bunch of patterns in Cubase via MIDI, which are controlling the sounds in this box. So it's coming right out of this box, but the MIDI control is coming from Cubase. So I just did a bunch of patterns, which I'm going to hear. I'm going to show you what it sounds like with no processing, and then I'm going to actually patch into a few modules, which include my ZVEX Fuzz Factory and my Mutable Instruments Warps. And uh, just actually, those are the only two things I'm using to do everything you're about to hear. So, as you can hear, there's nothing really groundbreaking here, but this is just the raw beat. Let me patch into the module. 